have much to say, but I did want to show you that I actually do wear makeup sometimes. <laughs> um, I am going to get uh, 14 more 2x4s for the front and the back walls today um, between classes and uh, college classes. And also I found a free bed frame that I might go and pick up. Um, I found it through Facebook. They're, um, they have like a shopping portion of the app and so um, I looked through there and there were free things and I found this bed frame that is really like has a lot of potential. Like it's cute but I probably need to paint it and put like some type of uh, thing on the on the four sides because they're not all the same so yeah that's um, what's going on right now with my tiny house I didn't end up getting the bed frame um, it's in Livermore so that would be like an hour drive to get there and back and that would be wasting my time when I'm a student I work and I'm building a house so just not a uh, logical, um, but I do have 14 boards to start putting up the back wall and the front wall, so I'm going to get started on that. There's my little house. So the back wall is up, and I didn't have any problems doing that one. It was pretty simple because there's no doors over there, and any windows will just sit right there and right there. I think I'm going to go with the two windows, one in the bathroom, and I think this will be the kitchen area right here. Um, the front wall was more complicated, and I did some research on YouTube of how to like make a door and a door heading, which a heading door heading is like a thicker piece of wood up here so that it supports the weight of the door on the sides and the top. Um, so this this board is not screwed in because that's probably gonna be where the door is. And uh, I don't have the right materials to make that right now. Um, but I can start working on putting the framework for the windows up and over here um, so I'm going to do that today and work on getting the size of the door and work on framing it and putting a header right there So this is the extent of what I'm going to do today. I got the bottom and the top board for that window screwed in and then this board is not yet because I still need the other one to measure it out and make it even. Um, so these boards will go up there for that window and there's one board for that window ran out of material or two by fours all of them are either too short or I'm using them for something else like the roof those boards um, so yeah I'm gonna go inside and do some homework and hopefully get some more work done tomorrow so last night I drew up a floor plan for my tiny house and I thought I would show you so that you get a better idea of what I'm actually even building um, and it gave me a better idea of what I need to do in order to make it happen. So this is the door. These are the windows. Um, this is a couch that converts into a bed that I want to make. It'll have a panel that flips out or something that goes there so that the cushions can be moved 
to make a twin size bed. The TV is out of the way so that that could work. Um, this is the kitchen, fridge, countertop, sink, countertop, and stove. And I'm not exactly sure if that's where I want the stove. Um, this is the table. This is the stairway. Either make actual stairs or make like a ladder stair that has like boards going across it so it's easy to step on. Um, this is the bathroom, tub, sink, toilet, and the door for the bathroom. These are walls. Everything is down to size uh, because I used a measuring tool to um, get it down to size. It's pretty practical. Um, it's six inches here and five inches here. Half inch indicates a foot. So 12 by 10. And the bathroom is five by five. So that's what I have. So I got this board and this board up. Screwed in those two boards. And purchased a door from Home Depot. Um, this is a front door. So it's steel and it um, will protect me from the weather. It'll be pretty good. And that uh, I got. I got um, doorknobs. <laughs> I almost forgot what that word was. Doorknobs for um, it as well. So I will install this door once I get all the framework done. But this, I figured it's, it's good to have because I know exactly what size to build my framework with. I'll just lay it down right where it should be and then build the frame around that and then have it all ready for installation. Um, 32 inch by 80 inch door. So a little over two and a half and a little over six feet tall. Two and a half feet wide and six plus feet tall. So it'll fit everyone, <laughs> hopefully. Let me pick it out it was very helpful. The man at Home Depot that is, uh, he works there and he's super nice. I was picking out a room door which would probably fall apart is what he was saying and this is a steel door that will be more sturdy and last longer and this door was on promotion so um it came with the whole thing all the way to like the plate at the bottom and the the weather ceiling and the um, frame so not all doors come with all of that so it was a hundred bucks for the door and everything included so it was a really good deal and I think I'm gonna end the vlog vlog here I will see you next vlog bye